first? You get a minute to talk about yourself, a minute to two, and then three minutes to answer the questions. Can I use some of those minutes in my speech? <laughs> I'm Amy Falcon. Um, I'm just an alderman in the city of St. Anne. Um, I've lived here in the city of St. Anne almost 25 years now and had absolutely no clue that this Westlake landfill existed until these moms brought it to my attention. So imagine the fears that started running through my mind. It's already been running through theirs to wonder what effects this is going to have on my kids and grandkids into the future. start with the questions. Number one, will you publicly support federal legislation HR 4100 to put the Army Corps of Engineers Spuser in charge at the Bridgeton Westlake Landfill? Please explain your answer. Number two, will you publicly support the community goal of a voluntary buyout for the people living within one mile of the Bridgeton Westlake Landfill? Please explain your answer. Number three, will you make it a priority to educate St. Louis County residents on the emergency shelter in place evacuation plan concerning the smoldering fire and radioactive weapons waste in the Bridgeton Westlake landfill. This includes distributing plan pamphlets to all residents. And number four, the public would like to see more representation from our elected officials at our community meetings. Will you commit to attending or send, sending a representative from your office to the monthly community meetings held by Just Moms STL? Again, like I said, the answer to all those questions is yes. But let me explain. Make no mistake about it. In my opinion, this landfill issue is the result of our federal government giving full immunity to Malincrod and then not ensuring public safety. The full responsibility for this should lie in the hands of our federal government. The EPA has failed to take action on protecting our citizens for three decades, and it's past time for them to turn over this to Fusero. This landfill issue was brought to my attention when the pipeline was being installed along St. Charles Rock Road. I requested and held a public forum with uh, 67 questions that were asked of the public. I introduced and spoke on it before my airport township. My committee man, Bruce Bowalda, who happens to also be the St. Louis County Central Committee Chairman, decided to hold his next township meeting at one of the Westlake Moms meetings. After listening to the issue firsthand, Bruce pushed for U.S. Senator Roy Blunt's participation into the matter further, and Bill 2306 was pushed through prepared, presented, and the U.S. Senate, and passed, from which 4100 was developed and is waiting in the House of Representatives for passing. I also informed Don that Missouri Senator Marie Chappelle Dell was one of Bridgeton's senators. She has been a good source for bringing this into the public. These are our towns. Our children have been raised here and are being raised here. No one told us that this nuclear nightmare was in our backyards. Many of our candidates for office have chosen the Westlake landfill as an issue to run on and get our votes. We watch them come on strong and then back away in their efforts. Once they think we are not watching any longer, then around election time they come on strong again. My participation has been and will remain to stay the steady course, pushing and reaching out to our legislators and keeping you, the public, informed. As an alderman of the city of St. Anne, this is about what I've accomplished so far on this issue. Now, should I win my election, I will push for county to develop an emergency plan with micro details, ones that even my emergency management people can use. Because today, the plan that they have in their hands is not doing them any good at all to make plans for my city. Um, and then I would also like to see an emergency preparedness list made out for the residents so that a last minute panic to get the kids or get out of town can be minimized while this possibility remains a threat. You see, I carry mine with me quite often. There's a mask in here, there's goggles for my eyes, and there's an emergency blanket that I can throw over my head so that I can at least get to my car or get the kids into the house with. Thank you.